fact that the three yes, a priest of cavalieros yes. here from Talea have come in <laughs> to rob me in my house, and I'm supposed to give you a key to my front door? Why would I do that? Why should we even be here? I'm just going to perform the last right. Why? Why? <laughs> That's not why? Why? Yeah, why would I would just put him under. Uh, Martin's done here. <laughs> Come gonna, to my trial tomorrow and see what happens. I'm gonna give him. I'm his, sure it'll be riveting. I'm gonna give him his dooming and perform the last rites. <laughs> All right, make your piety. <laughs> Done with this jack and eight. <laughs> so I need blues, or just one blue. Martin needs that back because he's got a five fellowship. <laughs> well, okay, there you go. Man. Nobody's got five in their characters except for the freaking munchkins on the FFG boards. Yeah. Like, Martin can do anything else worthwhile, well, though. The ogre had a strength of five. But he also had an intelligence of one, didn't he? <laughs> oh my God. Two. Yeah. Two? Yeah, two. It's just above a garden slug. <laughs> so I got... One success. Oh, two successes and three beagles. Two. Well, how many successes? Two successes, three eagles. I would have had four successes. Make it intimidate again. using your fellowship. <clears throat> Does my skull tattoo give me a, a white? Especially since you show it around. Who is he accused of murdering? Brenner. A body has never been produced. The, that's the room that, that he and I went into, and that's where we found the books. Okay. We've been investigating after. And there was like blood on some rags and stuff. And then. And he went, Brenner was uh, um, investigating Ashen Back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can make some cat calls from down the hall if you want to play a typical <laughs> insane. Jail person who's not gotten enough. Did you fail? You're about as scary as like a parishioner. (laughs) Yeah, well, I'll need one more success. Not four eagles. That's four eagles. Uh, uh, Yes, it is good. Ha! There! There's my one success. All right. Four eagles. It took him about 45 minutes. So while he's. Uh, doing the last rites and making a big voodoo show of all this stuff and <laughs> keep showing them your your little skull tattoo. It's what, about the size of a quarter? No, it's my entire form. face. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. Mike Tyson with that little funky... Yeah, no, but it's the whole face. He okay. just he just couldn't see because the lighting. So you had to like hold the torch up to your face and do this, and then you do this like, are and you scared? No. Then you just going to singe your eyebrows. I can cast fearsome visage. Make him pee himself. <laughs> Anyways, so you track a uh, cut his legs off. You track the supposed pox marked lady down to a place called the halfway house. They have heard of her. She's got a room upstairs. It's where poor people go. <laughs> you find yourself at the door. Ask them if they have the cure there. Make a listen roll. Check for traps. Were you there? <laughs> Were you there when we ran into the cure? Uh, no. Oh, God. <sighs> Were you there at the investig- at the discovery of the room with the murder going? Okay. I was, I was constantly too. going into dark basements. And All right. By myself. Um, like, you pretty much just hear the usual, Who is it? Some Cthulhu uh, shit that I had to run from. Doc. Time. I don't know, Doc. Go away. I believe we Hookers are down the hall. Doc is short for Dr. Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I have a proposition. Did you bring the gold? I've got these, uh... These reversed, uh... Ulrican symbols for you. I... Shake the jingly meager sack. jingly sack of coin, meager sack of coin. That, that I sounds like two coins to me. I don't think you brought it. No. <laughs> I need to talk to you. I've got a proposition. Can't let you in until you bring more coins. I need at least 50. <laughs> the guys are playing a game downstairs. You want to go gamble for it. Mm. For 50 gold. Turn the stone tablet. Hey, hey Jay, good the question. Speaking of gold. Um, the merchant um, career mentions in the trappings that you need to have 
two hundred gold yeah. worth of uh, materials and warehouse and all. The... <laughs> How would you get into the merchant career? Well, see, there's this thing called. There's two things you got to remember. There's the one percent, and there's the ninety nine percent. Um, is there anybody else around? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's people all over. There's. There's harlots and bro- and bods and there's Johns and there's guys coming up and there's girls going down. Okay, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a table where I can just sit and observe? Yeah, and then watch if she. So I'll go get something to drink and. The second you sat down, the guy kicks kicks you from the side. And it's like there's a two drink minimum. <laughs> okay. And you order it through me. Okay. Then he unzips his pants. The guy turns around. You thought he was wearing like a just a big bear skin like yes. thing. You realize he's just got suspenders and he's got so much body hair he looks like a bear. <laughs> and he's been sweating a lot lately and he's you know, he's got big man tits. <laughs> big huge brown nipples that have like those little tufts of hair that come off of them like a dog's crotch. You know? And then he kind of turns on the thing, you know, and he's got, because he's been sweating a lot, he's got like this white stain down the hair. And it's not a stain, it's actually salt. Yeah. Salt kind. yeah. 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 But he turns, burps, wipes the butter off of his chin, rubs it out on his chest hair, which kind of leaves it up in this pattern. <laughs> Something about Mary's chest hair. And you buy it through me. <laughs> and he spits in your cup to clean it. Toss him a coin. Two drink minimum. <laughs> Do I suckle it from your teeth or what? <laughs> he stands up. The chair tips over. The whole place goes quiet. <laughs> Last thing you hear is the one guy over there who's like still dealing out the cards. Yeah, and I heard that old fatty over there is probably going to hit it up again. And the big hairy guy then, you know, completely forgets about you, goes over and the guy's dealing out the cards, you know, and just puts his single hand around this guy's neck and just squeezes until you, you like hear these, this guy's, both of his eardrums just go (laughs) in reverse. And then he just like falls over dead on the floor. And then the other guy like pulls up the cards and they just start dealing out again. And then the room gets noisy again. They split all his money real quick. Are you going to remain there, or did you want to take his seat, tell him to go find another one? Do you want to make yourself scarce, or do you want to keep no, playing his little here. bully game? Yeah, just I'll go stay here. Push the all corpse right. out of the chair. So as he drops him to the ground, he grabs the guy's money off of his thing, you know, stuffs it in his pants, um, which are really tight, and uh, comes over and sits down again. What was I doing? I got a proposition for you. Oh, Unless no. You suckle on your teeth. Chicks are upstairs. I was just... <clears throat> you ever consider being uh, working in a different establishment? I don't have to work. Is this your joint? What's to you? Well, I was just thinking you'd uh, fit in great at my place. I'd like to have somebody like you. Keep I don't work. really go that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going on. Oh. I'd like to have you in my place. And he's very PC about it. He's like, I'm flattered. But, uh... <laughs> no, no, you misunderstand. There's a lot of men that... Uh... I need a bouncer. Oh, oh. What's your tavern? Brown Owl. <laughs> the Brown Owl. It's under new ownership. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just bought some bed sheets that have the Brown Owl on them. <laughs> That was the previous it wasn't really owner. the logo, it was the stain, but... Yeah, that was the previous <laughs> owner. We're, we're, this is going to be a, you know, just high class... Want to put the fan on? Yeah, go ahead. It's, I'm cooking in here. One mm-hmm. gold up front. We're going to name it the <coughs> free... Well, I don't it. have it with me. <laughs> the fuzzy ass. Okay. Well, when you're ready, you the come back. Yeti. It's one gold up front, and we'll work out something else. All right, but in the meantime, is it all right if I? If you buy me another drink, sure. I'll buy you another drink. Now remember, this does not constitute a relationship between you and me. Totally understand. I'm intimidated by the help. 
I'm Luther. <laughs> nice to meet you, Some Luther. people call me Mr. Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> Put on a little weight there, Mr. Luthor. <laughs> you just call me Patches. All right, so you make the proposition of the guy. The uh, person upstairs, the door doesn't really open. Uh, every now and then you can see, like, you know, from a little crack in the door, like, somebody walks back and forth once in a while, but nobody comes out. Um, this game that's going on, how much does it cost to get in? Ten. Ten silver? Mm-hmm. I'll get in there. There's ten, ten gold in this shitty... Yeah. <laughs> Make your gambling check. Yeah, it's intelligence. Plus, if you have any skill in insight, minus charisma, or guile, or intuition, I mean. And you get a plus uh, one yellow because you're gambling. How many purple? Three. Three. No black. No blacks. No diggers. It's the, yeah. it's the electors. Ooh. It's the electors count is the name of the game. Okay, well, let's go. So just oh, 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 Better oh, have oh. a chaos star and have an exploder. Oh, you were going with uh, so the count. three successes and one oh, chaos yeah. star, Ooh. two black and two veins. <laughs> All right, roll that oh. d10. You're playing. You win. And while you're gathering your goods, you accidentally bump the two guys next to you who seem to be hiding cards in their sleeves. And it slides out right there. And before you're able to get your money, somebody yells, Cheaters! And the game flips up in the air and the coins scatter. And the whole crowd comes in and like cleans up all the coins. The two guys next to you get into a big tossle. The dog. Oh. You're the worst gambler ever. <laughs> hey, I, I'm. You're able to gather share. one to ten silver. Go ahead and roll the ten. Good job. You six. got six silver back of the ten you spent. The game eventually starts to, you know, get going again. And <laughs> should I let the dog in or? No, no, she should stay up. Um, until she can figure out how to open the door herself. <laughs> All right, dog. Actually, you could probably leave it open if we want to stay cool. What about the dog? All right, so you want to sit sit in on the next game? Where do you think they're going? All right. So I'm going to go have some pizza. Move it. Uh, Go on. Let's go get it. (laughs) Meanwhile, I'm also going to be kind of keeping an eye to see if I can make an observation. Uh, two purples. And then you'll have to make another skill check. All right, so you finish up intimidating this poor, poor, poor man. Unjustly accused. Unjustly accused. Yeah, Pillar of it. integrity. I mean, he's typical arrogant scum. Yeah. Uh, noble scum. I can't stand those. Like your two companions. <laughs> no well, successes. he's not typical arrogant scum. He's just slightly arrogant scum. So. Martin's typical. No successes. Okay. All right. So you don't see anything. Now make, now make your uh, second check. You're gonna have to spend some more cash. So you got six back. You got to spend four more. So for the total ten. So there's three purple again. Mm-hmm. And another chaos star. I got a comment, though. I, I canceled it out. Yay, praise be to God. One of the that goes yeah. out, but I have the explosive. So I have one success, two success. Okay. This time you win. You get your money back plus 2d10. You're on two ones. <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> wow. 
Eight. All right, nine total. <laughs> you almost doubled your life. <laughs> You've been like, <laughs> oh, did you get two successes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, make another check. All right, so what are you going to do with this poor guy now that you've uh, been thoroughly insulted by him? Um, Got a pin cushion for his... So uh, what do you know about the Freiburg and what's going on there? I don't have any business in the Freiburg. I know, but you got to have some suspicions. It's not, a good, it's not a good economical place to keep a warehouse. What kind of moron would keep a warehouse in the Freiburg? Do you Apparently know what the rent is up there? Would. What's in the and Freiburg? my second command is a moron if he's keeping a warehouse it's in the Freiburg. Freiburg. It's where the unknown... The t- no, 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 no. What, what's generally in the Freiburg? Oh, it's the hoity-toity part of town, right? Isn't it where the... Hence the high rent and... Um, if you were to open um, something up in the Freiburg, what would you open? The Freiburg, north of the Great Temple of Freiburg, sleepy district, wide street, modest residence, quietly prosperous business. Uh, slowly, the uh, scum have been moving into the district. Most of the scholars and educated gentlemen in the city remains largely a silver tier district. If you were going to open something in the Freiburg, what would you open there? I don't know. Probably a, uh, a chicken worst stand or something. Wouldn't you think that'd be reasonable? So, um... I guess you Moors, you, you Moorites aren't really known for, you know, blessing the chicken probably so much as choking it, but... So, so if I if I just remove him <laughs> now, yeah. will they be upset because it's going to be a sham of a, of a, of a, of a, uh, a court case anyway? Um, so... I'm going to go get a piece of uh, parchment, and you're going to write a letter of introduction for us to your estate so that we can talk to Roderick and see if your daughter is doing well. And if you do this, we'll come back and let you know how your daughter's doing. If you don't, we'll just go remove Roderick, find your daughter, and do whatever we need to do to investigate this. What uh, grounds do you even have for investigation? I don't see any badges of arena on you. You're not one of my bravos. I don't know if you realize this, but I'm not asking you a question. I'm telling you that's what's going to happen. Otherwise, we're just going to leave you to the courts, and you can die tomorrow. I simply don't care. You see the thing? I'm going to belittle this guy. You're you're reframing it here, huh? I'm I'm, I'm belittle this guy. Did you... Did you take a special court, or a special class at the at the Morite? Uh, uh, what do you guys study uh, when you lay around and stare at the stars? Oh, Did you we, take a special class to, to we, learn uh, how to we, reframe like that? Actually, what we do is we we, uh, we study ignorant nobles right before they die, and so we know what it looks like. And you, my friend, are right in that position. <laughs> I'm gonna belittle this guy. Okay. Listen, we don't care if you live or die. So, well, you've obviously got some interest in this, don't you? Well, it's the information you can provide, which is very little right now. And we're the only ones that can probably help you at this point. I've got powerful friends. Probably not powerful enough. Yeah, we can see how you're here with those powerful friends. I'm just waiting for it to come through, wouldn't you think? Yeah, just keep waiting. Tomorrow's your court date, and... Um, Adele is a really big ball breaker, and I really don't think he's going to make it out of this one because Adele has more powerful friends than you do. Do I get any sense out of him? Some, I don't know, feeling? He seems like he's just lashing out because he's, uh, you can see he's just scared that he's about to be executed tomorrow, and it's his last chance to insult people that are lesser than him. I just backhand him. (laughs) (laughs) Make <laughs> make a roll. <laughs> one purple. Right in the right out of the blue. One just purple, purple one black. Him, he's gonna backhand him. <laughs> <laughs> there is a rule for that in uh, lure of power. Just Bitch resort slapping. to the violence. Yep. There it comes. Glove slap. Bitch slap. See the violence. Hey, two successes. Yep. And two banes. See the violence inherent in the system right here. <laughs> Bitch slap him. All right, so you cuff him. He's like, oh, now that was unnecessary. I'd do it again. <laughs> the return swing. Yeah, um, let's go ahead and use this card. Um, oh, fine. I'm not going to miss. What's your strength? No, wrong guy. Are you still looking at fetish? Three. No. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm 
looking at. All right, you Bring keep swinging at him, and he's like, <laughs> "Hit me again." <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, his lips bleed. He's like, look at that one. You split my lip. You got to remember, he comes from kind of the same thing as Martin. Well, yeah, but he's just like Martin. He's probably not used to somebody bitch slapping him. This is true. Well, except for that party. Von Aschenbach is just like Graf Frederick. Both of these guys started out low-level nobles. They're never going to get anywhere, so they have gotten very rich and powerful, but the nobility is never going to let them rise above that level. They're always going to be rank two nobles. I don't like two now, aren't I? But I'm going places. <laughs> you all wait and see. <laughs> Unlike this man. Yeah. So, this like why don't you even have your soldier do it? Is he too limp-wristed to hit me? No, he's just looking at... Him. I'll punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't hit me again, and he says that <laughs> word. And he bet. says, I bet you can't hit me harder than the other guy. That's funny, because I did it with my, the back of my bare hand. He says that, huh? He's got armor on. He says that, huh? Would you even use an action? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna mighty clean. I'm gonna <laughs> thunderous blow <laughs> with my fist. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna punch him in the face. You got to make a discipline check because he used the set you off word. Oh, he, okay, discipline. That you can't hit harder than the limp wrist. Fortunately, I took a second yellow die. I only got, I only got two successes when I punch when I back okay. him. So you, know, so, you don't have to hit him. Much so harder than that. okay, so that's against a purple. <clears throat> One black, sorry. Cock eye. Main, I ignore. So no problem. Yep. Is that that's that's to do, that's to not murder him. This oh, that was the discipline. Yeah, that was the discipline check. Yeah. You're like, no, 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 not not choke him out. No, no, you're going to punch him. Stop choking him. He's, he's tapped out. He's tapped. Yeah. <laughs> Quit kicking him now. He's unconscious. Oh, an exploder. And a comet. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Crit. <laughs> you may have hit him just a little too hard. Go ahead and roll. He's out. Roll that d10. Two. Roll another yellow. Oh. Comet. 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 Roll it again. Twice. Oh, Jesus. Just an eagle. eagle. How many eagles do you end up with total? One. Two. 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 Yeah. Oh. Got the stuff. How many teeth did he knock out? Grab me three. Oh, jeez. Okay. I gotta pick some here. Right. Oh, yeah. What's that one? Um, disfiguring Scar. Nice. Add a black to all fellowship checks. Add white to intimidation checks. Nice. You managed to, like, peel back his eyelid oh. and tear it to here, and it splits up across his eyebrow, and it just immediately starts to puff up, and he's, he's like, down on his hands and knees, blood pouring off that little tiny cut as he's got on his lip from the limp wrist of Moray uh, nephew. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, oh, yeah, he rolls over on his back, and it's just like, that's right, keep hitting me. Um, I'm gonna put the quill in his hand, <laughs> and 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 actually, I'll just take him by the back of the the hair, the back of his head. Okay. And um, you know, in the stool he was sitting on, put the parchment on there, and give him the quill, and and tell him to do what do what the priest is asking you to do. Oh, it my newbie Bravo is hit skin. harder than this. Even their babies. Do I have any recollection of him from any certain parties or anything? Make a four purple intuition. What does fearsome visits do? 
The spear rating reduces their shit by a black. <clears throat> so to make your, ch- your test again, you're going to try and make 50 to get in to her room upstairs, or are you just going to keep an eye on it? I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Okay. You get to play till you lose. Two. How many chaos stars you get? Six? None, actually. But oh. like three failures. Three failures? You don't recall. When these two knuckleheads <laughs> are done beating up a sub. But he's like... <sighs> he spits his tooth at you. So a bunch of phlegm comes with it. I want to try and just... I'm not signing anything now. Who cares? All right. You know what? It doesn't matter. We don't need him. We'll just yeah, get right. his daughter. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to subtly show him the tattoo on my arm. Okay. Make a... Um, give me a skill check here. What do we want to deal with? Something related to fellowship. <laughs> He's at five in fellowship. I want you to make a leadership with two blacks and one purple. Call it a success. You said it's two black? Yep. <clears throat> Success is an eagle. Okay. He, like, you can see him calm down. He starts to sweat a little bit. He grabs the quill. He signs it, hands it over, and then turns around and looks back into the bucket. Hey, what? He just turns around and looks back in the bucket. Huh. Wow. Look at how did you pull that off, man? I my ways. All right, let's roll. Oh, you guys just need to make a 3D observation. Because you gotta don't know that he's got this this little happy face on his arm. It was like a little smiley face. Yeah. And it's three purples or what's the signature symbol? Yeah, it's three purples. Uh, oh, yeah, I can just Google it up here. I don't know. That looks What's that? Mm-hmm. Ah, Holy shit! Oh my! I got four. Three successes. That was an exploder. But I got four damage. So you get the impression that that uh, Martin gave him some kind of gang uh-huh. symbol, like the noble symbol or something. Oh, you, you did much better. Mm. You fall on your back and wet yourself. Or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, you I don't really see anything, in, guy's stool. and you you bump into Baron, and you step in his bucket. Yeah. Just what the hell is your problem? Dude, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you guys roll that bad? No, no, I got four successes, oh, okay. but I got four banes. Oh. That's it, that. There you go. Yeah, the big slug. <laughs> like a herpy. It does it's a space herpy? All right. So, anyways, you guys get out of there. Uh, Eventually, you see the door open up, and somebody peeks out both directions, and then shuts the door again. Did you, oh, did you succeed in your last check? Yes. Two, uh, two successes. A comment and a success. Okay, so roll three per, three d tens. So if you roll any, if you roll a two or a six, you actually right. lose money. Six. Okay, so you're gonna lose. Roll, see how much you lose. <laughs> ten. Roll this. Roll it again, and then you gain ten. And one more roll, and you gain seven more. So you come so on seven, seven head. So you said I saw the door open, but then close. Somebody peeked out, looked around, and then closed it up again. Where's uh, Mr. Luthor? Mr. Luthor has been sitting next to you, patting you on the back every now and then. (laughs) Mr. Luthor. And when he slaps you on the back, it's not like a... Slap. It's like more like a rib breaking slug that <gasps> dislocates a few of your thoracic vertebra oh, yeah. and into your heart. And then he laughs, <laughs> rolls back on his chair, and you see the legs, which are no thicker than my fingers, um, just creak. And then he goes back just before it breaks. And then he laughs and slaps around a little bit again. The uh, guy that he knocked unconscious over there eventually wakes up, you know, scrambles out the door. Um, Luthor is like, You'll feel better tomorrow. <laughs> and he's like, 
You can see he's got like some kind of remorse about having to be a bully. Do you know anything about the Galater? Oh yeah, Ilsi. She's a forger. Yeah, I she's been that. out a couple days. She Bye. likes to work in metal, I guess. What would it... Could you keep an eye on her? Uh, for me? It's a goal. She's not the kind of girl that you're going to want to keep an eye on. Whoa. Not that kind of eye. I just want to... No, who well, comes and blade kind of eye. Who comes and goes from her room? Who she works with? Oh well, she she had some guys in uh, the other day. They were dressed in. Um, <coughs> I'll buy him another drink. They had this tattoo, this purple hand. You buy him another drink. It comes in a cup about this big. <laughs> it's foaming over the top, like, you know, one of those danishes that's been cooked with a big cauliflower top. And he manages to get it all over his face and stuff. And the only thing that he does shave is, this, is like, just around his mouth. And it's just so he doesn't get a lot of... Because he has to eat perpetually to keep up his girth. He's like an ogre, but just not. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah. He doesn't go on a murderous rampage if he doesn't eat. Yeah. He just kills people. <laughs> So, it, not much longer than the door opens up and somebody goes in. <clears throat> Blonde haired guy, no particular notation about him except he looks like Silver Tear. Um, I'll just keep watching. All right. Blonde hair guy goes out. out, leaves, and uh, he's got a. I'm gonna scrutinize. Small him brown package out. about this big in his hand, and he walks out. He's holding it tightly with two hands, like he doesn't want anybody to steal it on the way out. How many purple, black? Uh, one. What's the difficulty on it? It's versus target guile, so two purples. Plenty of eagles, but no. So one eagle. Eh. But I will. You're like, you whistle. He turns to look. <laughs> Mr. Luthor looks at you like, I don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> One success. <laughs> <laughs> One success. All right. So, um, yeah, you can see that the guy's holding the package pretty tight, like he doesn't want to, doesn't want to lose it. Um, it's just a paper-bound package. Uh <clears throat> Not much to find out about the guy, except he's uh, he's dressed in green. He's got some green on him, like a green shirt. Silent green. <laughs> the green the people. Wore, the guy wore tan pants. Yeah, and he had a face. I know he definitely had tan pants on. Mid <laughs> two arms. And he heads out the front door. You do get the impression that some coin was exchanged upstairs. He throws a coin to the barkeep as he leaves. I'll follow. And you get the scent of... That's I don't know, metal. I'll Ground follow. metal upstairs. Okay. You follow. Make stealth. Okay, now... Since I have the two eagles, yep. I get to add a white die to all my actions against the same target. Good, so done. Make your stealthy. And then and I am also with 
as a thief, once per session, I may add a yellow die to any guile or skullduggery. Oh, no, you stealth. Never well, mind. You can put it on stealth. I'll let you. Okay. Go ahead. You're going to tail him. Jimmy, <laughs> Bruce, think you beat up enough people for one day? Two. Yeah, I think so. He wasn't a person. One or two. He's a criminal. Two purples. You know that? Just one chaos star and like 17 successes. Awesome. <clears throat> well, if I throw this exploding, than it's a comet. Here we go. It's got to be in the box. Well, yeah, but if you give him a little bit of honey, Come Jeez, on, you get drunk. <laughs> then it just pays. Oh! <laughs> yes. Comet cancels. All right, good. One, two, three, four successes right, plus an exploder, five successes. Okay. Rough draft notes, notes are up. What about... Uh, on the website, yeah. Let me, let me get okay, Sorry, so we'll you have no trouble following this guy. Where did I say you guys saw that uh, mark of the wolf, but it was on reverse? Uh, we saw that. Uh, it was on a uh, seal. Well, they uh, had the wax seal was in the wrong direction. Didn't you see it, Doc? Yeah, it was early. Right, so it was way the Brenna, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was the. It was. I was. Because it was when I was digging around to try to find out information on Brennan and Brenner, 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 Brenner. Brenner. Brenner sorry. Because um, <clears throat> it was when I found out about the her being at the halfway house and that the wax seal was in the wrong direction. Where was that? Oh. But anyways, it was on a wax seal. Yeah, yeah, and it was on that uh, wax seal that didn't look authentic. A dyslexic right. forger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you can't read, sometimes your wolves go backward. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good I don't read my wolves from tail to head, I read them from head to tail. Alright. <clears throat> well, shall we have an appointment with the uh, well, so called priests of Ulrich? You follow them back oh, to the is. Freiburg. Ooh, the Freiburg. And you follow them to. Back alley, and uh, you kind of stop around the corner. He ends up with a crit. <coughs> He's to get the crap out of him again. And yes. you can see that <laughs> out here, there's two of the Von Aschenbeck Bravos standing in front of a doorway out this way. It's like narrow alley, little courtyard here, and then a, a warehousey looking building with some upstairs racking, uh, you know, ropes to haul stuff up and down, large double front doors with a little door in it. And two guards standing there with two torches behind their backs. The guy comes up, waves, goes in. I think I just found the uh, <clears throat> warehouse. Now, I'm beginning to think that I'm Beatrice is the enemy we're then. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't called to you yet. Yeah. It's too bad. I'm going to head back to the owl, okay. noting where this place is. And Okay. We're going to change the name to the Rancid Beaver. <laughs> Not the it's, Crimson Gash? It's, it's, just, it's just two two beaver teeth with just dripping running between them, right? <laughs> you green, green instead of having it out front, you have it just under the eaves spout, so it's got constant drippage coming <laughs> oh, out of the beaver. Oh, yeah. A little bit of moss. Yeah, some moss, some moss and yellowish stain. <laughs> All right, to the um, uh, Temple of Ulrich. He comes back, and uh, you guys happen to meet up with the uh, Rancid Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the, the, uh, the session title, the Rancid Beaver. <laughs> the Rancid Beaver. These three guys are standing around, and you see the Priest of Moor kneeling over the body of Johanna, laying out dead in the street, She's been bound and gagged with green silk around her mouth and her back, and her th- she has been garroted around the throat. Oh, Johanna. Your patrons, go back in to drink. I, uh, I thought you were going to find somebody. I'm working on it. Oh. Well, apologize to Johanna. Sorry, my sweet Johanna. Make your pie, Eddie. You were... Uh, Decent. Good and loyal wench. <laughs> Especially adequate. <laughs> <laughs> You're a The most adequate. mediocre we've ever worked with. 
So you failed? I haven't rolled yet. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, and add two purples because you've got to figure out the whole purpose of this uh, green shit around her and how you're going to keep the crowd out. That's their job. I'm just performing the rites. Yeah, but you don't want to create two victims to the rites. Sometimes, yeah. you, sometimes you wave your hand out just like a little a... too far and a person faints, has a heart attack right there. Did you make it? No. I ain't getting cast stars, though. You're just standing there going, bitch is dead. In typical, you know, Morite sympathy. Sensitivity. Well, I tell you. She's not breathing. <laughs> you want to uh, get are, a cart? Do we, yeah, we'll get a cart. Are, are there any other marks on her that we notice of any sort besides the grot and the green? Just the green again. Thing? Is there anything, any I'm gonna, marks I'm gonna on get, the green? I'm going to look at the scarf. Uh, you can see that she was probably me. bitten by large fangs. Do I recall a certain flaccid-eared gentleman that I've had? <laughs> Where yeah. was she bit at? Uh, like in the spine right here. Just a random place. Probably while they were holding her down. This type of entertainment doesn't appeal to your sensitivities. Well, <clears throat> while he's doing his rights thing, I check out the, our establishment to see if like anything has happened to our rooms that appears that anybody's gone through our crap. Alright. You go up to check your loot. Uh, make an observation everybody. One purple. One purple, two blacks. Is this a vision observation? Um, no. Is okay. magic involved? It's going to be to kind of read the crowd. Is magic involved? Nope. Two successes. All right. Oh, Martin, you know that the crowd here is always, uh, well, you haven't been here that much, but you've been here enough to realize the smell seems different tonight. And I got two successes. It smells like uh, incense tonight. Incense? And you haven't quizzed the people at all? <laughs> What does incest smell like? He should know that smell. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Aunt Beatrice. Oh, really? Oh, 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 no. oh. Martin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just stutters. <laughs> <laughs> Need I say more? <sighs> Those are two dead devil action. <laughs> <laughs> So supposedly somebody came in here bragging that an old woman had paid them off to cover up a murder that Lord Melshed had committed and Johanna took offense to that, defended your honor, she went outside to get the people out and that was it. So an old lady hired someone to cover up a murder... So, somebody came in bragging that they were covering up a murder, a witness to a murder that you had committed, and uh, an old woman had paid him off, paid him off, and he had fresh coin to spend. And then Martin couldn't she kill a corpse. And <laughs> 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 hey, who's this person bragging about this? Uh, just that. some low-life scum that has discussion. come in. Some scraggly guy with tan pants. Instead of red shirts, got tan pants. <laughs> and, where, and where was his... And she went out to chase him out, and there was a scuffle, and then people in here couldn't get their drinks all of a sudden, so they tapped the tap, and everybody started taking their own and cleaned you guys out again. Everybody's here is so drunk that... Except for that top barrel that nobody Except can get access to. Except for the top to. barrel that nobody can get access to. <laughs> it still says property of, <laughs> property of the, uh, the leaking eel or whatever yeah. it was. <laughs> the fighting cockerel. That's what it was. Can anyone here recognize this ruffian? Nobody recognized this person. 
And most people in here are so drunk now you could ask about any question and you don't know what you're going to get for honest answers. But I'm going to go back to the prospect. Okay. Safer there. Yeah. I never, get, I never get beat up my way over. You know, walk, <laughs> walk all by yourself. Again. We're going to need to it's, shut down the. Uh, it's afternoon. Rancid beaver before. Uh, yeah, before any. Yeah. So what are you going to until we can get it? Actually you going to flick running. the lights on and off and just we're, we're give them last just, call or what? Yeah, that's what I need to do. We're just going to yeah. turn on the fire hydrant. No, we're just going to burn. <laughs> we're just going to burn the whole building down and collect the insurance money. <laughs> but we're going to do it with the patrons inside. <laughs> Oh, the horror, the humanity. <laughs> so, the patrons don't want to leave. They're rowdy. Talk back to you. There's about 12 of them. Make some nasty comments. Well, we don't have any furniture. They talk, drank talk, all the beer except for the top. They barrel. talk Anybody about Johanna. You guys got a gold piece? I got a guy who'll get this guy out of here. <laughs> these dudes out of here. <laughs> He's not pretty, but he'll get the job done. There's some more chips in the closet. I have to hide them in there. The kids eat them. <laughs> I wondered where the box of goodies was. It's my last goal, though. I think we can just, just leave this place. I mean, we'll come back and get it set up when we're not Aww. busy investigating key cards. I forgot about those. Snigger? Mm-hmm. Well, the has got a pretty fancy room set up in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got all some fancy set up room. You guys, uh, no, it doesn't appear that any of your rooms were molested. The little piece of hair is still. Yeah, you know, <laughs> James Bond trick. Yeah. I don't stay here anyway. That's right. You, don't you still stay in your pup tent? Your little pup shrub. Yeah. <laughs> I hide in my shrub. It's a nice little shrubbery. It's a, because you're a priest of more. It's actually a dead shrub. <laughs> <laughs> with leaves that fall on you all that long. <laughs> Dead nest brambles. <laughs> Crows seem to like nest in it all day long. Much like my ex-girlfriend. No, um. <laughs> Crows nest in her? Alright. Make sure nothing valuable is left in my room. Mm-hmm. Okay. And let's go to the um, temple of the horse. Your horse is still here. Oh. And I fill them in on the I thought we had it stabled up somewhere else. No, we brought oh, it over, right over here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The warehouse. Oh, no more stuff. At the Freiburg board, board, whatever it is. And, uh, or at least I think I found the 10th warehouse. All right. You guys hear a ding, 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 and there's a crier walking around. Down. Ding, ding, ding. Bring out your dead. The trial of Wolfgang von Aschenbach has been moved up. Ding, ding, ding. Well, I guess we'll go to the trial. Yeah, because the will be there. Yeah. And I will take my horse to the trial. Well, I'm going to find a stable. He's going to ride the horse into the trial. Yeah, we need a stable. We need to find well, a stable. The, the Temple of Arena has got a stable yeah, I, have to, I have to stable my horse, too. Because I have a horse, too. I you got a pale horse? horse. No, when you say moved up again earlier, <laughs> I painted it white. Moved up to like now, as opposed to tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll go to the the trial of retardation. Okay. You can go to the sessions page. I've got a link. Oh. Okay, great. Right. It's very rough. That's what she said. As you guys approaching, a is You can step into the vacant spot. A woman is hurrying forwards. Um, Maybe you just have sex with her daughter. Rumor has it that it's uh, Graf Wolfgang's daughter Marguerite. She appears to be 18, old, 18 years old, rich and lovely. Her father's dark hair arranged in curls around her face. She has all the education accepted. Wait, wait, she, she has dark curls that. around her face? <laughs> Not like the dark curls of his future employee, but... Uh, <laughs> and she appears to be fighting with a... Yeah. Tall, youthful, cropped, blonde hair man. Not the guy you saw. 
an easy smile, uh, seems well-dressed kind of guy, um, has a book on a chain attached to his belt. Markheim. And uh, finally a, uh, another guy gets in between them, and, uh, they, and he splits them up, and she's accusing him, and he's doing this back to her and somebody gets in between and then they both go into the uh, Temple of Rena for the trial. He has a book on the chain, huh? How big's the book? What's the chain to? His belt. So is it like some sort of like a <clears throat> financial ledger? Or? Not sure. Okay. Could just be instructions or Tasks, who knows? Could be a to do list. Could just be all of his post it notes that he's collected over the last ten years and he never finished. Gambler and a thief. I suck at sleight of hand. No wonder you've never made money. No. Oh, you want to try and slide it? What's your skullduggery? Is it any good? My skullduggery? Yeah, yeah, it's four plus a yellow plus a. Oh, I did that by now. Yeah. No, I did because you yep. said that. Right. So I can't do that. But yeah, I'd still be. <coughs> if I see this procession <coughs> and announce it, uh, oh, here, I this announcement at the trial, I'll di- divert my way to the trial. Okay. Yep. Some of the prospect. All right. So you guys are all standing out front, staring at the large brown eyed owl over the front doors. We're not allowed in. No, you're just standing there waiting to go in. Large numbers of people appear to be kind of pouring in. A lot of the Ashenbeck bravados are going in. Guards out front. This also might be a decent time to go to the warehouse, too. Mm. With all of his... You can hear, bang, bang, bang. But we definitely should probably check it out. That's a bad idea. And you hear a woman's very loud voice from inside yell... Tits and bomb. Yells... Where's my gavel? Better to burn an innocent man than let a guilty one go free. You hear from Adele's burning voice inside. This is before the trials even started. Shall I uh, use my influence to get us in closer or... I'm always willing to be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> it would be good for, uh, for Lord Martin to, uh, you know, attend the trial while we go investigate. The, uh, All right. You guys okay. may recall, too, that there is a second um, uh, witch hunter that stays at the uh, one of those inns. Ellsberg or something. Gregor Hellstrom. Stays at one of the local quiet ends. Man is supposedly a superior. Oh, By the time. Superior, huh? Guys settled into a quiet lifestyle here in town. Um, anyways. Okay. So should should Bell should get any of us in close to using his influence and his popularity. And you have no trouble getting in. Martin, go ahead. You're here. Last thing is here. That's the hero of Aberheim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay out of trouble, please. It's okay. a famous trial. <clears throat> hey, they're working for the graph. They're probably going to present evidence contrary to what Von Aschenberg... <laughs> Yeah, you, you you attend the trial. We're gonna go check on some stuff because you would be the it's most expert you. at um, getting in and all the information we may need from this trial. Yes, of course I would be. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing you want to do is go crawling about a warehouse. Well, true enough. All right, so the gambler's gonna show us where he followed that one. All right, let's make a quick intelligence check. Nope, he's too dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Two KS stars. Two, bla- Two blacks is all. You do remember where it was. It was. It's kind of windy up there, and you're not from Midnight, so we'll see if you find it today or some point. 
A couple of adventures. Yes, go back to the trial. So all right. Yeah, you remember. Um, he does take one shortcut. Ah, oh, there's a shortcut this way. You never take yeah. shortcuts. <laughs> so it takes just a little bit longer. <laughs> and uh, there's one guard here. So what are we looking at? Uh, is it is it like a back alley doorway? Is it a? It's a back alley that opens up into a, kind of a kind of a little courtyard like this. Not a huge courtyard or anything. And then you got the doors right here, the double doors that would lead in. You guys are out here somewhere. This is you guys. So if we hold on, priest of more. <laughs> so, so if we reconnoiter this place, is there other? Is there any windows or? Other, yeah, any it other appears other that it's dangerous? surrounded, backed up against. Yeah, I should make sure there wasn't a squirrel in the trap. Well, the Bravos have uh, Ashenbeck's like uh, cabin or something. Yeah, like that, that uh, river with a green thing on it or something. <clears throat> the brook and the tree. Yeah. And what kind of armor? Do they all wear about the same kind of armor? It's like good. Oh, handy. Do all the Bravos wear about the same kind of armor? Yeah, they're wearing, uh, this guy's wearing blast, breastplate and chain with a halberd. Maybe the easiest thing to do would be to go get into the uh, estate, get a tabard, and then dress okay. up uh, Manstein and, All right. and then tell the same he's, uh, he's supposed to go to the courthouse. Where else? It even says warehouse number 10 over the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a TV show or something? Oh, warehouse 13. Oh, of course. So, uh, you want to do that? Go yeah, it sounds great. Do a tabard, have you pose, and do it with this guy? Right. As opposed to trying to kill, kill him in broad daylight. And cause him a ruckus. Yeah. So, you're the only person who know how to obtain a tabard. I am? Yep. Oh, yeah, you could go to a fence probably and do it as opposed to going and breaking That would take a little bit too long if you're in a hurry. Or you can find out where a few of these guys hang out. Um, it's bound to be some of the guys off duty, although they seem to take pride in wearing their tabards. They get some laid more. From since we've been here for a while, did it appear there was any specific tavern they like to hang out? Yeah, there's one nearby where there's some guys hanging out. You want to try and abscond one <laughs> with one? Ah, oh, some ate all the stinkers. Yeah, we ate them. So, skull duggery, two purples, two blacks. And I will have skull duggy as well. Chili cheese. Wait. <laughs> Here it comes. No chance of failure. You can go one into stance <gasps> if you have to. Not on your best day. Take that one, roll a green. Rebate. Outside. Move it. You're no pet of mine. Outside. Move it. Bunch of birds. Just a bunch of birds. All right. So you know a guy who can maybe get you one. You just got to pay for it, or you can I'm keep trying on this if you want to use some torches. Uh, getting close. Oh, you finally do it. Don't forget All right. you get fortune points. You're like, huh? Uh, that went into the bathroom. Um, Offer to hold it for him. <laughs> the tabard, not 